Welcome back to GQ Rolls. I'm Adam Rappaport here with award-winning jewelry designer, Phil <laughs> Frangie. Yeah, at his studio in the lower Manhattan. Or actually, we're kind of mid-Manhattan. I'm not even yeah, sure. I call it Midtown South. Midtown South. I That's like that. Good. Now, Phil, I'm going to be honest. When I hear the word jewelry, I'm always like... Scared? Yeah. yeah. I'm a guy. Can, can I wear jewelry? Uh, 100%. 100%. 100%. How do you take that first step? I think the most important thing is like anything you wear, you should feel like yourself when you wear it. A lot of guys, you know, wear a wedding band. A lot of guys wear a watch. I got one. Right? So I got, I got jewelry so on. The next logical step might be a bracelet, like a cuff bracelet. But most guys are used to having something on their wrist. So exactly. the notion of having one more bracelet or something or a chain yeah. next to your watch makes sense. This is one that we do really yes. well with. It's a brass railroad spike cuff. You just sort of slip it over your wrist. See, this, this, one, looks, this looks manly. Exactly. I mean, it's got a kind of industrial feel. It's got Pounded. not shiny. It's got a hammered finish. It doesn't it, have that brand new jacket exactly. or t-shirt feel. You want something that's a little yeah. worn in. I mean, this looks cool. I have no idea what it's made this out of. This is uh, black and stainless steel with 14 karat gold. It's got a very soft finish to it. I mean, it almost looks like leather from a little bit of yeah. white. Yeah. Goes well with tattoos. Goes well with tattoos. <laughs> I think guys are used to wearing rings if they're married. Uh, this one looks cool. This is a, what is this? It's, it's not overly shiny. I like that. It's stainless steel forged, a uh, line of 24 karat gold. So it's got this real uh, flashy quality to it, but it's inside, inside the ring. So it becomes your own like personal little secret. Your silk box or shorts exactly. of jewelry. You, you know it's expensive and nice. Not the whole world is easy. Right. Right. This is my personal necklace. Um, I've been wearing this for years. It has one of the earliest prototypes of our anchor, which I've been making for years. Um, it has an old family ring. It has a religious medallion from my grandmother on it. The anchor is uh, a kind of universal symbol. Like, everybody's got an association with the anchor, but it's not religious. Who doesn't want to be a sailor? Exactly. All of those things I connect with, so I think when I'm wearing it, I feel like me and it. It, means, it also means something. Exactly. Yeah. It feels like it's part of your personal style exactly. without making a huge statement. Right. And, you know, you don't want the jewelry to wear you, you want to wear it. Yeah. And I think if you do that, you start off with a wrist piece, or then you get a necklace, you get yeah. a ring, and you know, next thing you know, you're looking like Philip. Phil, thank you very much. My pleasure. I'm Adam Rappaport. Thank you for watching GQ Rules, and tune in tomorrow for another Essential Style Tip.